Right, so it's time to do the Fantec Area XD7. Bit of a tear down, see what it's like. So with the rear panel on, they reckon it's 59 Gs plus one, but we know it's gonna be a bit heavier than that. So we've already weighed it without the dongle. 63, so still a little bit more with the holy rear panel, which I'd probably run. Try the uh, solid panel. Let's try the lightened version. Four grams. There's no difference though. So. Shows you can get a little bit lighter if you trim it. Maybe to thin the plastic a little bit. Pretty good saving on the rear panel. That to be fair. Nice job. Yeah, it does. I don't know why they put that. You lighten mice and you put that absolutely massive battery holder on it. Come on. You don't need that, man. You don't need the battery holder that big. They are rounded. Grammar skates. What's your bet on this weight of this label? I'm going 0 0.3. 0 0.3, I was close, finally. Good so you can change the buttons. Maybe it'd be nice if they gave us some colour options on this uh, Fantech. Maybe they will. I've seen this set up before somewhere. Oh, I'm disappointed they didn't drill out the bottom of the rear base. Come on, you do all this work and then no rear. Come on, I should have done the rear, man. That's disappointing. Why? Why not? So, it's like a one piece on the top here. We have four screws. One, two, or three, a pair. You've got some decent clips, so you're not going to need to, in your weight reduction, re screw it. Pretty good. I always forget the sensor. Whole point 13, nice. Oops. Careful that ribbon cable, it'll bite you. Let's do this bit first. Got a full size. Nicely trimmed uh, PCB. They've definitely done some good work on uh, reducing the weight on this. You can see that. Taking out as much as they can. Could see they're using the same screwdriver throughout, although they've got different screws, but pretty standard. So we're using Hawanu black shell white dots. Quite a nice switch to be fair that one, but it's common. Got the little dog leg connectors. So if you want to change them, you have to do a little solder trick showing you. But well, uh, 
well optimized PCB yeah, for the side switches. Two and a half grams, not bad for a side button PCB, that. Yeah. Not bad at all. Now, what I was looking at in here was I thought I got dirty side buttons, but it's overspray. But to me, that means they're going to rub and show the paint through eventually. It would have been nice to have seen them more of a solid black so rather than painted. Not horrendous, but they'll certainly wear out if the paint's not very thick. You end up with um, white side buttons, I guess, not the end of the world in this mouse. Pretty standard configuration, nothing special in it. Makes me wonder if the black one's going to be painted. Got one hell of a LED cut, look at that. Hmm. This makes you feel like it's OEM, so you can ping this sign out. So I'm guessing it is going to be like ponies will probably get theirs. I haven't looked at ponies, but they got a version of this out as well. I knew you'd come out, you have to pull it, like push it this way a little bit, like towards you and it pings out. The badge. like a seven grammar. I don't know why they make these, just, these trays man, just stop making them. Just don't bother with trays. Or well, at least trim it out a bit more. I mean like, look how thick, like all these big edges on it. So if you're gonna have to have a, a tray to make it prettier for the battery for whatever reason, maybe some law or you just want to tidy it, then do it, but don't like, stop making them so big man. It's a be lightweight mouse. Got a three pin connector, but it's nice and white. So customized battery cable. We're checking six, no, seven, okay. We know we can definitely lighten that because it's a standard 1.5 mil, looks like it. Hmm. The foam doesn't weigh anything. <laughs> so, so it's a 5.8, but it's something to do with like between the pins, I think. Something like that. I think that's how it measures. Wouldn't trust me on that because I'm not 100% sure either. We've got all the buttons from underneath. Pretty standard. Can I take him out? Hmm, so uh, screws there actually, interesting, good. I was looking for the screws, instant pull screws, but there was no screws. So it just rested in there. Okay, interesting. Some little pegs. So, good idea. Finally, someone realizing you don't need screws and they've uh, trimmed out the PCB with the sensors, noise. Bad base, 8.6. That scroll's chunky. So I never understand, like, like, why make it so thick, the scroll wheel, when you want to make it lightweight? Like, they could definitely make a few little tweaks on this to get it lighter. Feels like three grams, three and a half. No, three, okay. It was right first. Not a fan of this style rubber. Anyone else is, but that's not my favorite style. It feels a bit like lacking when you're trying to push it. It's a thick ass rubber as well. 
small ring <laughs> could be one of the smallest ones we've seen it's got one long ass spindle <laughs> holy moly Final piece is the PCB, quite a nice short PCB. Yeah? You're not going to be able to cut the back of it, fenders, traces, I'll share in a sec. Hawanu blue, black shell. So you've got Hawanu white, black, white dot, black shell, blue dot, black shell, and then KL8. So just, can we please have the same switches? They never listen to me. Good to see using a yellow TTC. I do prefer it to the white one. I still prefer kale ones. It's got a 30 millimeter encoder by the looks of it. You got a, a little block under it as well to lift up the scroll. You could definitely make some adjustments to the scroll wheel. You got uh, LXP, is it? Or LPX? LPX or LXP? I think it's LPX switches. Get them around on the bottom. Like the uh, M800. But it's pretty normal for there. It's not too bad there. Not bad. PCB optimization is good. Like the little side, they've trimmed a bit of weight out here. But you can see on the back where the area logo is, it zooms in. There's traces, you see them? So you can't cut the PCB. Oh, no, if you want it to work. And because the switch is wrong. But you can make it as pricey to buy it straight off the bat. It's like a point eight. Quite a thin PCB, thinner than most there. Nice. You are. It's got a light PCB. Not the lightest, not the heaviest. Decent optimization on that. They did a pretty good job there. Got a few bits to it in there. 